G'day guys, and today my little tutorial will be the CompTIA Security Plus Lab Series Lab 17 Authentication, Authorization, and Access Control. So I'll be operating off my desktop uh, in terms of where the PDF's at, and I'll do the actions on my laptop, which is what I'm controlling right here. So I'll just go through the instructions. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to do a random lab and uh, yeah get on to it so I'll read out the instructions as I'm doing them I suppose uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux internal I think this one internal victim Red Hat Linux victim yeah looks good <sighs> okay joke yeah we want to run and hide <laughs> Alright, here's a login, so root and password is a password, pretty secure stuff. Start X, which will bring it in a nice friendly user interface. Alrighty, next up. Okay, they want us to open up terminal. Seems to be the common theme, generally that's where we're hanging out, it's the command prompt. And in all honesty, I'll just be typing a lot of random commands for you guys. So hope you enjoy it. Um, system config users. All right, students. First, we'll be creating two groups: Sesame Street and Simpsons. Six users with three users in each group. All right. So I've got the list of groups, usernames, and passwords, and that will give me the commands to do that. So I think I can sort of maybe minimise that one if it wants to. So when we want to put on Sesame Street, we go group add Sesame Street. We have a new group called Sesame Street. Sesame Street, not Street. Group add Simpsons. Now we have two groups. I could have pressed the up key and change that if I wanted to but I didn't. Now to add the view of the group file, we go cat, etc. Group. And now I've got a random bunch of IDs which is a group file. So to add a new user, the commands user add and it should look something like this. User add Elmo minus G for group and then Sesame can't spell Sesame Sesame Street. Very good. And next one's Cookie, so we can press the up key. There's a bit of a shortcut there. Cookie. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch is next. Up key Oscar. Alright, next one's The Simpsons. I'll just type this out manually for fun. User add Bart minus G Simpsons. Oops, now we want Lisa. That's apparently the next one. User add Lisa minus G Simpsons. Now Home is next. So this stuff isn't too bad. Alright, we can go back to system config users. And as we can see here, we have particular groups that are set and that correspond to the usernames that we put into them. So, we're going very nicely here, guys. And now for the password, this is where stuff gets nice and messy. So, I'll pop out of that one. Control C to sort of do my own thing now, and now in terms of configuring the passwords, we just type in password, <laughs> basically. Elmo. So now we've specified the user. All right, and it's told me to put in red as the password. Type it in twice. Yeah, if we know it's a bad password, but can't be too secure. Okay, so here's being assigned a password. 
Password Cookie. So now we want to assign one for Cookie. They tell me blue. That's him all sorted. Now we got Oscar. And he's green, so we decide to go with green. Next up's old Albato. Password Bart. I'm guessing. Okay, boy. <laughs> B O Y. Twice. Right there. And then we got password Lisa. The password they've told me is girl. <laughs> You can basically put whatever you want, but I'm going by what the prac says. And the next one is Homer. I'm guessing that's man without thinking. Yep, man. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay. Now to look at the users that have been created. We go cat, etc. UTC password. And as we can see down the bottom here. Well, yeah, no Linux genius, but uh, I can only imagine that's a bit of an ID suggesting where it's at in terms of a uniqueness and that a password has been set. But you can go into here, etc. Uh, shadow, and that will show show the password. Just encrypted though, can't see it. <laughs> unfortunately. What a shame. So that is basically part one. Let me just have a quick looky look. Yep, so that's part two of it. adding groups, users and passwords. Part one was the topology and everything which we're well aware of. So we'll move on to part three. Part 3 is symbolic permissions, using them anyway. Init 6. Oof, okay, what's going on here? Ah, oh, yeah, that reboots the system, that's all good. Here we are, the login screen. Uh, they want me to log in as Bart and use passwords boy, so now, as we can see, we're in the user account of Bart. Alberto. Now it wants me to print the working directory. Yes, we know we're in Bart, it's all good. Good. CD dot dot to go to his home directory ls minus l so that lists everything in his directory detailed with read write execute permissions and it's showing us here yeah basically what can and can't be done alright so it's telling me CD Lisa so let's change to Lisa's directory Oh, we can't. Of course not. Need permissions for that. So we exit out of that. And we go, it's Lisa, girl. So from Lisa's point of view, we need to give Bart permission to access her account first. Before anything can happen, oops, cd dot dot dot. Move to the home directory. So one would assume I was maybe in the root directory initially and moved up to home. LS minus L, and as we can see, basically everyone in there with their respective groups. Okay, now we do change mode. G, which is stands stands for group read write execute, and Lisa. So now, basically everyone, in, I'm assuming, in the Simpsons group has access to be able to read, write, and execute. Let's have a look again. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. As you can see here, the three, sorry, the four there are what Lisa can do, the owner, and then you've got these three, which is the group, and then you've got sort of the public as the last three keys. Uh, LS minus L, yep. So, basically, Bart should have access now, put simply. Bart boy, or whatever password you put in for it. CD dot dot dot, go to the home directory. 
and our CD Lisa. Ah, we have access. Fantastic. And to view the account you're logged in as, who am I? Double ampersand, PWD. So I'm logged on as Bart, but in Lisa's directory because I'm a Spud. Yeah, exit. Kiddo, so that is part three, and now the fourth part is absolute permissions. So with permissions, there's certain numbers um, that sort of suggest what can and can't a person do. Seven read, write, execute. Six read and write. Uh, fives read and execute. Fours read. Three write and execute. Two write. One execute. Zero none. So you can allocate files uh, to, I guess, three numbers. I guess all depending. So if I say change mode or ch mod seven six four file one, that means that the user can do everything. The group can do everything but execute, and the public can only read it or other people. So that's basically what it means. Log in as Elmo and read is the password. PWD, it's telling me, yes, we know we're in Elmo. CD dot dot dot. Yeah, LS minus L. Just to see the directory is happening. Can okay, here go to Lisa? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought so. Because they are another entity in another group. So it's telling me log into Lisa, girl. Again, let's we'll get the PWD this time because we're rebels. LS minus L command I've got here is change mode 707 Lisa. So that means the user Lisa will be able to do whatever they want, whatever she wants. Uh, the group I'm guessing can't do anything except for Lisa, and others can read, write, and execute because of the seven is the highest sort of um, order of operation. So that means no one in the Simpsons group except for Lisa will be able to access her thing, but people outside of the Simpsons group will be able to, which is uh, what we're testing here. So we go to exit, Elmo, red, and CD dot dot. Too many dots, damn it. Alright, CD Lisa should work this time. Sweet. Who am I? Ampersand PWD. I'm Elmo logged in and in Lisa's directory. Gee, that sounds a bit much. Um, and another exit. So that's all for, me, for myself today. So this has basically been a simple crack on authentication, authorization, access controls. Basically just adding and uh, putting in new user accounts, assigning passwords to them, and then assigning permissions uh, based on the respective groups they were put into. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. It's been good fun and a nice, simple one. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos. And I've got an AFL channel as well if you want to check that out. So that'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, keep clicking back and hopefully there's plenty more videos to come up. Cheers guys, catch you next time.